Kurdish officials saying ISIS fighters have launched a major assault on their position southwest of Erbil in the north. Let's get straight to Tim Lister via Skype from Erbil. This is an area that I think you were up in uh, a few days ago. Tell us what you're hearing. Michael, this seems to be the most serious attack ISIS has launched on these positions in some time, maybe for several months. The details are still coming in. It's unclear just how huge this fight is, but uh, certainly Peshmerga officials, the Kurdish officials I've spoken to, are very concerned that this major push could break through Kurdish line. Uh, very close combat, uh, so close, in fact, that uh, coalition air power unable at this point to uh, launch attacks on the ISIS assault, simply because the two sides are so close together. When we were down there 10 days ago, it was clear this was one of the most exposed positions of Kurdish forces. They're strung out along a river, but the uh, fortifications are few and far between. The soldiers, the Peshmerga fighters there, the volunteers have very little in the way of weaponry. They're using very old guns, very few heavy machine guns, certainly no mortars or anything like that. And one of the Kurdish fighters there told us last week that ISIS makes almost daily attempts to infiltrate that sector coming across at night in small boats across that river, holding up in the village that's below them, and then launching attacks. But this attack seems to be of an entirely different nature because it was launched on several fronts at once, about 9 o'clock local time. And as of half an hour ago, that's about three hours later, it's still going on. So it's a very perilous situation for the Kurdish front, which is only 45 kilometers from the capital here, Erbil. So it's still going on, Tim. Are you getting any word of injuries or casualties? And also, if you can talk more about the Kurdish fighters and uh, them not feeling well equipped. They certainly don't feel well equipped. What we're hearing about this battle is that uh, they say they've uh, inflicted considerable casualties on ISIS, but there have been casualties also on the Kurdish Peshmerga side. We won't have any details probably until daylight. Uh, this has been a rare exchange in so far as it's gone on so long. It's very rare that these skirmishes last this long. But right across the front, and we've visited five, six or seven different positions over the last week or so, you can tell the Kurds have very little in the way of modern or heavy weaponry with which to repel ISIS. And very often you find that they're repairing uh, stuff that they've picked up from ISIS, that they've seized from ISIS, anything from Humvees, to heavy machine guns and, and other armor. So they're very much outgunned in this front, simply because ISIS over the last few months has been able to seize so much equipment from Iraqi bases that they've taken over as they've swept south.